If you like quick and easy Dollar Tree hacks, this is the episode for you. Let's get started. For this Dollar Tree hack, we're going to start with this wooden round. Now, Dollar Tree carries wooden rounds. They're a little thinner than this one. This one I just had on hand is from the Target Dollar Spot, and it was $3. I thought it was a pretty good deal. It is two-sided. One side is a chalkboard. The other side is more of a wood tone. But we are going to give the wood side two coats of rust -Oleum chalked bin in the linen white. Today's video, I'm going to show you different ways that you can use Dollar Tree tiles these are the ones that are like peel and stick and they have a tile more of a look to them and for this project we are going to start with this beautiful butterfly design one it has a metallic finish to them which most of them do i am going to remove the backing from it just like a sticker and place it right in the center this wood round is going to be such a beautiful vibrant summer like wood round i think anyone would love i'm going to take some of this boxwood and i'm just going to cut a few pieces from it as well as these purple flowers from dollar tree i'm going to tie them in the center like a little swag for the wood round and then we're going to do that using some jute string from amazon I thought about hot gluing it, although I could, I decided to staple it because I wanted a little bit more of a strong hold. I'm going to arrange the flowers so that they are facing the way I want them to. Then I'm going to take one of these leftover sunflowers from a pick that I had. I believe it was from Walmart. I'm going to cut off the stem really close to the base of the flower, add some hot glue, and hot glue it to the center. This flower really popped that yellow tone in the butterfly very nicely. I'm going to use some of that white jute string and i'm just going to thread it through the holes that were already on the board i'm going to tie it in a knot and then we're going to have something to hang it from and this one turned out stunning what an easy way to create a beautiful wood round no cutting machine needed these tiles are just so versatile love them enjoy DIY home decor this is the channel for you I post every single week so make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content for the next Dollar Tree hack I'm going to show you the difference between two types of tiles that Dollar Tree carries they have a smaller one and a larger one today we're going to be working mostly with the smaller ones but I wanted to give that larger one a try the larger one has a little bit more of a plastic feel where the smaller ones have a little bit more of a paper feel this one, I thought it would work for the next project. It did not, but I want to show you why. So once I have everything open and took everything out from the packaging, I'm going to take one of these wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. The crafting sections have many wood blanks, and this heart is one of them. I'm going to remove the plastic backing from the tile, place the heart on top, and then cut the excess. Once I started cutting the excess, I realized that this tile has two separate pieces of paper or plastic one with the sticky side and one with the design once i cut the edges it was no longer sticking with the design it was just the sticky part covering it so i removed it and then went on with to work with the smaller one i placed one of these beautiful bronze ones right in the center of the heart and cut off the excess at first i thought i was just going to leave the design right in the center of the heart and leave those corners bare so I went on to sanding down the edges. I have found that sanding down the edges using wall decals, using these tiles, or even the pill and stick wallpaper works really well to smooth down those edges. I changed my mind and then I took off the leftover cutouts to cover additional spots in the heart. Now, I thought I would then leave it just like this, leaving a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom of the heart bare. And I went on to painting. I think you know where I'm going with this, right? So I, after I applied the first coat of paint, I thought, oh yeah, it'll work out. I just did not like it. I just felt like it needed to have those spots covered. So I took the second tile that I had with the same design and I cut off a piece of it. And I'll show you here in a minute. 
I'm going to take the board that I'm actually going to be working with. This is another one from Target Dollar Spot. It was $5. Such a great size board. The sawtooth hooks were on one side because it was a vertical board, but we're going to turn it into a horizontal board. So I'm going to move them to the one side and use the same little screws to secure them in place. Using my Cricut, I cut out a scriptures from Proverbs because I thought it was very appropriate for the sign. If you do not have a Cricut, you can always use decals that you can find at the Dollar Tree or you can even add a flower arrangement next to the heart. You'll see what I'm talking about and I think that will look very pretty. In this case, I do want to sell this board and I want it to have a nice scripture message. After I weeded the design and added some transfer tape, I'm going to place it towards the right side of the board. The black and the white just look so good together. So here's the part where I just decided to take one of those tiles, cut up a piece, and then add it to those little bare edges. And it looked so much better. I just felt like it wasn't, it didn't look a finished as I wanted to. So it was worth it the work <laughs> all right moving along i did give two coats of rustoleum chalk to to the heart and it's drying i'm going to cut out four pieces of this foam core from dollar tree and i'm going to hot glue them to the back of the heart two and two so i want the heart to be hot glued to the left side of the board but i want it to have a little bit more of a 3d look and have a little bit of space behind the heart and that's exactly what i did and it worked out so well and because it's so light hot glue is plenty sufficient i'm going to add another little swag for this one using the same boxwood picks and then i'm just going to tie it in the center just like i did the other one with the same white jute string for this one, I decided to do both hot glue and staples to secure it in place. I do want to make a note that the design on the heart, it's hard to see because of the color, but it is there, it is textured, and it is beautiful. Now I'm going to take one of these magnolia flowers that I got at Walmart, cut off the stem really close to the base, hot glue it to the center, and I think this one is stunning. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love the black and white look. It is so timeless. And of course, I love the scripture, so it is just perfect. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow and it helps this video reach more people. For the next solitary hack, I'm going to take this leftover Easter sign from the Easter season, remove the jute string, and I'm going to sand down all of the glitter from on top. I'm going to use my palm sander, but you can definitely use a sanding block if you do not have an electric sander, although the electric sander is really effective and very fast. Once I had all the glitter removed, I'm just going to wipe it down really, really well, making sure there's no dust. Now I'm going to use my blade knife and I'm going to use also my square ruler to cut off a piece of the sign. It's about three and a half inches wide and I'm going to score it several times. You've probably seen me use this technique several times before. I score it, snap it, and then sand it smooth. This works really well for these type of boards that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Once I had this one cut out, I'm going to cut it directly in half and it's going to be a three and a half by three and a half square. What we're making today is some coasters. So once I had it, again, I cut it, scored, it, snapped it, and sanded it. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing for two more. All right, now that we have four of them nicely sanded, I'm gonna take the tile, this one is a beautiful golden tone one, and I'm gonna place each square on each corner. Not necessarily need to be in each corner, this is just how I decided to place them. But then I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife and remove the excess tile. Friends, I want to remind you to check out my Amazon store, which is always linked down below in the description box. If I say that I got something on Amazon, chances are it is on my Amazon store. You can also follow me there, and anytime I add any new products, you will be notified. Again, it is linked down below. And we are just basically done. We're going to finish cutting off the excess tile, and then, of course, we're going to sand them down to make sure those edges are nice and smooth. And I think these little coasters are so stinking beautiful. You can use any tile for these coasters. I just happened to grab this one. I love the design. You can make as many as you want. 
beautiful. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I'm going to take one of these little wooden crates from Dollar Tree. You know what I'm talking about. They're everywhere at Dollar Tree. They have different styles. I got this one and I'm going to paint the sides and the bottom of the box using Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the linen white. As a matter of fact, I just told you about my Amazon store. These brushes are amazing, such good quality, and I get them on Amazon and they are in my Amazon store. All right, here's the towel that we're going to use for this one. It's this beautiful metallic silver one. I'm going to cut it in half and then place it covering each long side of the little box. And then, of course, using the X-Acto knife, we are going to cut off the excess tile. And we're going to repeat the process on the other side as well. Because this is a little wooden crate, I still want it to have that crate look. So I grabbed one of my screwdrivers and my square ruler. And I am just going to dent those lines using the screwdriver. This is going to give it that little crate look that it originally had. But with the design on the sides, which I think is so beautiful. So now moving on to the sanding. Of course, we got to sand the edges down, making sure that they are nice and smooth and transition really easily onto the wood. I'm going to add some floral foam from the Dollar Tree. It fit perfectly right in there. I'm just going to place it down and then I'm going to cover the foam using some Spanish moss that I already had on hand from Dollar Tree. These little boxwood picks are left over from another project. I never throw them away. Sometimes I even pull them away from other arrangements because you never know when you're going to need them. You'd be surprised how many times I use my florals leftovers in other projects and it works perfectly. So I'm just going to place all of them all around the little box and then I'm going to take these little white and yellow flowers from Dollar Tree that again I had left over. They were already cut at this size which worked perfectly and I'm just going to start placing them all over the little crate and this little arrangement turned out stunning. I love it. I love that I made those lines with the screwdriver. The design, the silver tone is just so beautiful. one i thrifted this board for 99 cents i thought it was such a great deal i actually found two but we're going to be working with one of them right now i am going to paint the edges and a little bit of the inside edges with rust-oleum chalk paint and the linen white and i'm going to give it two coats and then i'm going to using my heat gun speed up the drying process in the meantime i'm going to remind you that i do have an active facebook and instagram pages make sure you check them out all those links are linked down below in the description box. I'm not going to take this tile. This one has a little bit more of a traditional tile look. I'm going to remove the back from it and I'm just going to place it right in the center of the board. It so happened that it fit perfectly inside except for the edges. The corners I had to trim a little but not too much at all. And I just used my X-Acto knife to cut them. And we're just about done. I love the way this one turned out. I did this one a couple of videos back, but I wanted to include it because I just think it's beautiful. All right, as always, I would love to hear which one is your favorite. Let me know in the comments. It's hard for me to choose, but I love this black and white one. I just think it's so beautiful. And then, of course, the butterfly wine, too. It's just, they're all very beautiful. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you consider joining our YouTube family. And if you are returning, welcome back. I have, as always, a playlist with tons of Dollar Tree inspiration. I also have another video that I think you'll love. Click on one of these, watch next, enjoy all the inspiration. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.